So Simon Kenton was kind of a bad boy early in his life. Uh, he got into a fight with somebody in, uh, in Virginia and thought he had killed the man and ran off and even changed his name to Simon Butler. Uh, then after a while, he ended up looking for the cane fields in Kentucky. And uh, after a while in Kentucky, he moved this way. Now, he was involved in a lot of skirmishes. Uh, he scouted for General George Rogers Clark. He saved Daniel Boone's life at uh, the Battle of Boonesboro, which was Boone's fort. And I think uh, a lot of Simon Kenton devotees are not happy these days because um, Walt Disney popularized Daniel Boone and not Simon Kenton. So uh, there is that. And then at that point, Kenton uh, decided to move north into Ohio, and that's where his story begins in Springfield and Urbana. Well, we're real proud of Simon Kenton in this community, of course, because Simon Kenton came up from Kentucky in about 1789 and settled just uh, below Springfield, uh, and then uh, came to Urbana with the people he had uh, brought with him from Kentucky, which included uh, Colonel William Ward, who did the original plat for Urbana, uh, laid out the city of Urbana. Sam Kenton knew Tecumseh very well. In 1807, a man named Bowyer was murdered, and uh, Tecumseh and other Native Americans were blamed for it. Uh, all weapons were left at the county line, except Tecumseh, who maintained his tomahawk and would not give it up, and that's the tomahawk that I've been holding. Uh, the very tomahawk, I should say, that we have here in the museum. So what happened was uh, they had a sort of a, a, an inquest and it was finally determined that in fact uh, Tecumseh had nothing to do with this murder. In the meantime, somebody had offered him a pipe. It was a, a lousy uh, clay pipe. It was covered with uh, various things. Tecumseh wouldn't smoke it. He wanted to smoke his own tomahawk pipe. He threw it over his shoulder in disgust and lit up his own tomahawk pipe, which again, we have here on the premises. John Quincy Adams Ward is, was the preeminent sculptor of uh, the 19th century in the United States and really throughout the world. He's the grandson of the Colonel William Ward we just talked about, who did the original plat of Urbana and came up with Simon Kenton. When uh, John Quincy Adams Ward was a boy, he went to Nettle Creek, right here in Champaign County, fished some mud out of the creek, and uh, made a little log cabin. Um, later in life, uh, he did a number of things. For example, he has six sculptures uh, in Central Park. One of them is uh, William Shakespeare, and of course the original Indian Hunter. Uh, a second version, a casting of the Indian Hunter, uh, adorns his grave here at Oakdale Cemetery in, in Urbana. And that was recently restored by uh, our own Mike Major, who is essentially the artistic descendant of John uh, Quincy Adams Ward. 